Welcome back to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial everyone. My name is Buddy Blackbird and today let's go over the Smart Sharpen filter. And this is a really good sharpening filter that you can use to attempt to uh, refocus some um, blurry images or sharpen the edges of blurry images. And one of the cool things about the uh, Smart Sharpen filter is that you can remove uh, some effects or some filters that you've added on like the uh, Gaussian blur or Gaussian however you like to say it the or a lens blur or a motion blur and it has filter or it has like a drop down menu in there that you can use to get rid of that stuff so let's go ahead and look at how this works so let's duplicate our background layer that way we have something to compare the um, effect to so we can compare it to like the original image Let's go to filter and we're going to apply the uh, smart sharpen to it without adding any like Gaussian blur or anything like that. So let's just stay on the basic tab and make sure you have your preview uh, button checked so we can see what's going on in the main picture. And I'll put this over here so we can see what's going on. Now the amount here is just the amount of sharpness that's applied to the image and usually 100% is pretty good and then the radius here you can determine the width determine the width of the sharpening effect so I'll bring this back down to zero and this bring, bring this down to zero so we can see what's going on and I'm gonna move this over here to to where the t um, actually I'll move it over here where the hair is so we can see this area here okay now let's start applying the effect. Let's go th to this to like 100%. And then we'll come over and bring the radius up. And you can already see that when I did that, the shoulder area got way more sharper. So I'll bring this back again. And you can see blur, blurry shoulder. Bring this up even to just like one and a half pixels. Oh, come on and now it's like even way way sharper so I'm going to just bring this up to two yeah that looks pretty good and then we've got uh, nice sharp edges on here that aren't blurry which is pretty nice they don't blend in with the background as much now remember I was telling you about you can remove some of the uh, filters that you put on we've got the Gaussian lens and motion blur on here and then we've got this right here which is uh, more accurate which gives like a more accurate but a slower and it uses more RAM so the sharpen filter is more accurate but it's a lot slower to use so I'm just oh yeah there's definitely there's definitely um, a change in here when you click on more accurate so this is with it off and just take a second to look in this preview area right here you can see how the more accurate affects it there it goes it takes like a second to pop in but it is way, it's definitely uh, giving them way more detail in her hair and more contrast and everything like that. So we've got this angle right here and this only applies when you have the motion blur on because the motion blur um, is an, kind of like an angular blur and it goes in the direction that the motion is going in. Since there's no motion in this, um, that we don't, wouldn't want to ever use that. You wouldn't want to use motion blur on this. Now there is an advanced tab. Let's click on that. You get the uh, shadow and highlight here. And the place where I saw the most amount of change when I was doing this is down here in the in the leg area, because there is shadows and highlights, a pretty decent uh, contrast going on there. So let's uh, come to our shadows. We've got the uh, fade amount here, and that determines the amount that we've got the amount of correction that's being applied so let's bring back this tonal width all the way down we've got our more accurate checked so that's good so our tonal width here is uh, pretty much the uh, width of the amount so kind of like the radius a little bit and then the radius here is the scale uh, of the size of the uh, of the smart sharpen that we're putting on on the shadows so let's bring this up maybe a hundred percent or bring it up to where you where it looks good starts looking good bring up your tonal width a decent amount 
and then your radius and you can kind of see that like the the shadowy areas are getting a little more sharpened same thing with the highlights you can bring this up and you can just see the different if you bring up the fade here it looks like it's getting a lot more blurry you can definitely see it on the left side of the oh sorry you can definitely see it on the left side of the leg here that's with the fade amount to zero and this is with the fade amount to 100 percent so you can see how that works now check it out here this is the fade amount to zero on the leg and then you bring up the fade amount to 100 percent let's see not as much difference with the shadows here but definitely more difference with the highlight as you can see. Okay, now uh, let's see if there's anything else to go over. And there is one more thing I wanted to go over. Actually, a couple. Let's let's uh, put on one like a Gaussian blur and see what happens uh, when we try to remove it. It it does its best to try to remove it. So let's go to filter, and we'll apply blur, Gaussian blur, and let's uh, jack it up to like three pixels so we can see more. You can see how it's pretty blurry here as it compared to the other one. That's the that's without blur, and this is with the blur. Now let's apply the smart filter or the uh, smart sharpen. There we go, and we uh, got the blur on there. We're trying to take that off. Maybe increase the amount a little more. More accurate. Let's see how let's see how well it does. Hit OK and give it some time to compute there we go and it it tries to it tries to take away the uh, Gaussian blur it doesn't do the best job at it but it's better than um, uh, it's better than nothing if you're trying to get rid of it so mess with mess around with the settings mess around with all that uh, stuff to try to get a better sharpen on your blurred images. So that's all there is for the uh, Smart Sharpen filter and I hope you guys enjoy that uh, filter. I use it um, a decent amount to try to make everything look it, like look really nice and pop out. Sometimes what I do on like a picture on like an image like this I'll isolate the um, main focal point here which is the woman with the skateboard and then I'll apply the and I'll cut it out and I'll apply the smart uh, smart sharpen there to the uh, to the focal point and it'll stand out from the background a lot more instead of like pulling out like instead of the smart sharpen pulling out some of the background image. So just keep that in mind when you're using the uh, Im when you're using the filter and use it to your advantage. Well, thanks for uh, watching this tutorial. Hopefully, you guys learned something and. Uh, I want you guys to have a good day. See you guys later.